this video, I'm going to demonstrate the crocheted bind off in slow motion. And the crocheted bind off is really identical to a regular bind off, but the, you know, the action of pulling one stitch over the other is really e more easily done with a crochet hook for a lot of people and you know, pulling that stitch through. And so a lot of people do the bind off this way and it's, it's good, especially if you're a newer knitter who feels like stitches just keep jumping off your needles accidentally <laughs> when you don't intend it. Having a crochet hook does make it a bit easier. It's also easier if you are primarily a crocheter who is knitting, you're gonna be super comfortable with a crochet hook in your hands. Now let's talk about the size of crochet hook that you're going to use. If you have a needle gauge, you can check your crochet hook size against the needle size that you're using. Um, I have here a size <clears throat> I crochet hook and I'm using size nine needles and they are the exact same size. Um, I'll tell you though, pretty much every bind off that I do, I usually use a bigger needle size for the bind off, otherwise my bind offs are too tight. So if you need a looser bind off, just use a bigger crochet hook. But you do generally <clears throat> want to use a crochet hook that's about the same size. So I think that's it. Yes, let's go slow-mo. Okay, we're ready to start. Crochet hook in my right hand, my knitting in my left hand, and you're going to want to hold the working yarn however you hold it for crocheting. I'm just gonna get it out of the way to start with. I'm gonna put my crochet hook in just like I would on a knit stitch with a knitting needle. And I was, Right there, I was trying to pick up the working yarn with my right hand, and then I remembered, oh no, I'm holding a crochet hook. <laughs> so this is how I hold it when I crochet. I'm going to grab that yarn, the working yarn, and pull it through the loop. And now I'll go into the next stitch as if to knit every time for a regular bind off in this case. Grab that yarn and pull it through. And now I have two loops on the crochet hook. And this is the beauty of the crocheted bind off because pulling that one loop through the other is a very natural crochet motion. Into the stitch as if to knit. Grab the working yarn to pull up a loop. And since there are two loops on the crochet hook, I want to pull one through the other. Into that stitch as if to knit. Pull up a loop. I'm using crochet words now. We usually say wrap it or pull it through <laughs> in knitting, but I have a crochet hook in my hand. And because there are two loops on the crochet hook, I'm ready to pull one loop through the other, leaving me with one loop. One more time. In as if to knit. Grab the working yarn and pull it through. Pull one loop through the other. It goes pretty fast for a bind off. Not really in slow motion, but under normal circumstances. And I'll get my hook out of there so we can take a look it's a normal bind off. Mm, 
There we go. And that is it. Uh, if you'd like to see the entire slow motion series, I have a bunch of videos out now. Let me know if I'm missing any videos in the slow motion series. I'll gladly put those out. Just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner to see that playlist. I'll also put a link in the video description field below. I hope that helps. Good luck.